All right, today I'm not looking at one figure, but two figures. One small one and very big one. One very simple, one very complex. Good transformation. And they are Toxatron from Legacy Evolution and Beast Battlemaster Skull Cruncher from Rise of the Beasts. So let's start with this little guy, Skull Cruncher, the third, third story simple one. It's cool, it's Rise of the Buster Cannon Optimus Prime News with Rage Fallen with Shadow Matron. This is where guys, yeah. Some cable, but this is Decepticon. I'll grab the box. Here. Box. Mm. See, it's up gone, even though Brighton Home made sense. See, the... see here, under this guy's sadly in the movie, which kind of sucks. Because I really want to see a crocodile trade somewhere in a movie, but that would be sick. So let's just. This. Oh. <laughs> this can be on a car one day because it's just very simple. So yeah, it has some left. You put Peg's Blast Specs here, so transformation. You lift the tail. Lift this one around. And here we have Skull Cruncher. This looks it's just it's just really darn cute. It's just really darn cute. See the nice scale detail with the open mouth. You see tongue detail on there, you can't see too well. But the color's not accurate to the active see your it's supposed to be rubber green, but okay. It has mouth deletion, arms, front legs, back legs, head, bulgins, and there's a huge scale but not so it's a cute little boy. But let's get the big boy down. Toxtron. And this thing's just fucking great. This thing is just great. It has some rubber kills sticking out of the windows, but not too bad. And it has this really cool color right here. And paint's not too bad. It's pretty good. Because the green looks really darn good. Max is toxic ooze in the figure. You can see back. It's all, it's all black with some paint here. Up. This thing converts into a battle station. Yes, a battle station. So the walls go well. And just put the culture here. Oh, there we go. So now, the trailer can open up to a battle station. Which means some box. Look at it. Better. So put it on. And let's take a look at the battle station. So the battle station is just moving here. That's a little kickstand. Just move the turn on the way. First, you lift up, rotate this second round, revolving, you need to climb out, and basically it's like split the entire thing together. See the accessories that Toxtron has, comes with, you need to just down, make them slide backwards, and lift the turret up. And here we have his battle face mode. And it looks really cool. It's just very simple transformation, has accessory shield, sword. Okay, also comes with Matrix Leadership. And this guy is actually packaged in truck mode, so I'll turn to Roma mode and then look at that. It's basically a repaint of Gigi Lewis Prime. So I've got this section can move and even move. It's just sweet. You can actually move an entire section. You can actually move it. Damn. There we go. Peg. I don't know why do you do that. But it's basically the entire top of half the vehicle, so trailer doesn't make any sense. Mallory, and look at the main man himself. Touch, touch on it. And I really like this guy. The translucent red windows are really cool. But I think the one, the Scourge one, is better because you don't see the rubber kill because of the tint teal. This one's like look cool. Uh, there's barely a kibble. There's some kibble, short pads, and legs, obviously feet. Walls go well. And some arm over here. And size squares, and here he is, where the skull cruncher. I'm not doing any of her size comparisons because I don't know why I'm just not doing any size comparisons. Just look at these two guys. So, the way, it's about transformation for Toxtron move. I'm like, so let's see a better. Let's go. So, transformation will be complex the first time, but when you get to it, it's actually quite fun. So, first, let's guess it is. Hinge the legs out. Both sides. And then lift the panels up. Shift this entire thing down. And then split the leg apart. Lift, lift, lift. Chin panels it down. And then just fold the arms back. Hinge this. Rotate this back. Collapse this. And tuck this cap. Up. Split. 
the cap second. Flip and crunch this down. Right. Okay. Try to fit on thing. Hinge this around. And hinge this front section. Then do this hang the arms out. Then try to get enough room for the slide in. Slide this and then collapse this. Head up. Out. And do the same outside. Hinge, rotate, pop, pop the thing off. Hinge, fold out. And basically, what's done? Final step. Hinge this out. Now, there we go. Snap this over and just realign these shorts. Here we have Touchtron fully transformed into this really cool looking level. And this thing's just so fucking cool. I swear it, but this thing's so cool. Thing. Head sculpt. Please hit you your lights, Brian. Just, just, yeah, it's the first time handling this It looks like there's light paving, but there's no light paving. I thought he had light paving. Mm. And see, does he kind of light paving? Kind of, but also at the same time, no. Head sculpt looks cool. Short pads look really cool. He's basically a fucking truck, so. Yeah. They don't move, but. There is a short pad which has a short section of articulation. And it's just so damn cool. I mean, I can so quickly. You look down at the waist. Looks cool looking, just bland gray plastic. And these are the only six I think carried for Earthrise Prime. Maybe gas cans. So the legs are different. Like really just purple wheels and the ankles look pretty good. So yeah, let's talk about accessories for this boy. I'm talking about accessories before articulation. And these accessories are the sword and the shield. So here's shield. It's translucent green plastic and peg into the hand. Slide in, it's down, and here we have a shield. And here we have this almost this reminds me of the age of distinction sword that Optimus had. Those are only trying to that one again. Slide this in. This does slide in into finagle. Hand a little bit. Finagle, finagle, finagle. There we go. And the actually looks really cool looking with sword. Plus, I can put a charger. Star charger charges iron buster cannon into the there. And it's actually a combination you have between the sword and the shield. Three seconds. And these are, you can combine them, just slide this in. Maybe a bit off camera. Here we have this gigantic sword show up. It looks really cool looking. Like that looks badass. So now let's talk about Poe's body for this guy. And he actually is quite possible. With this section. And let's talk about articulation. Articulation on the top strong is actually quite good. So head, border can look up that far, no, up far, down far, can tilt, get some really mean poses. Okay, it kind of matters guys like a bounce dancer or something like lockdown range section. That's a little fun. Legs, arms can match forward. But I don't know why the legs are not much strong, but the arms are just I don't know. Kick backwards that far. The hinge out to the sides. Swoop joint bicep for transformation. 90 degree bending elbow. Wrists are in a swole. No fingers. This kind of sucks. Waist. So also forgot this detail. No ab crunch. Legs kick forward. Um Back far, a beautiful spread. Five swole. Can't hear it. Clicking this. And we like, I think overnight boots can get ankles, can pivot back and forth, and that's it. So I can get some dynamic poses to him. Get some. That's in. There we go. Get some really quite dynamic badass poses to say. So he's like telling like, ready to fight Optimus Prime or any of the Maxwells. Because this probably could appear aggressive because it's unlikely, but it probably or in a bad pose. And he's gonna throw so oh, torture. Yes. Yes. He's tiny, he's just tiny. You can turn into Buster Cannon for Optimus, like for touchdown, you can 
I think I'm supposed to show a little doggy. That's a little bird. Just plain stupid, but I like it. I love it. I, I love it. So let's go over to conclusion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, almost forgot. Almost forgot. Almost forgot the matrix. Almost forgot it. Right up. There's the matrix. Cool. Cool matrix. Yay. Now let's go to conclusion. Overall, Tuxtron is quite great, and Skull Current is actually pretty good for his price. Tuxtron is really cool looking. He has a good articulation, pretty cool auto mode, and fun transmission. And Skull Current, the little guy, has a really simple transmission and a Buster Cannon mode. I could use it almost, maybe if I had the Studio Series Live Action off of this, Favors one, I could use Bring to Him. So yeah, that's basically a review of Tuxtron and Skull Encroacher. Skull Encroacher is basically a good guest appearance. Well, Tuxtron took the main, main focus. See ya.